What did you learn about more effective interviewing going through the process at Democracy Prep Charter School? There's two things I've learned. Uh, Democracy Prep does something unique, which I think is excellent. Um, obviously, we interview teachers, new teachers every year as we're growing. We're, we're adding 10 teachers and, and we're adding new schools. So next year, we're going to add 30 teachers. And part of the interview process, there's always a phone interview, and then there's an in-person interview, and then there's always a demo lesson. And this is common for educators. Um, when I interviewed for teaching, teaching jobs uh, years ago, I, I did a demo lesson where I turned in a lesson plan to my interviewer. They said, this looks good. And then they got me a group of 10 or 15 or a full class of kids to, to do this lesson on so I could be evaluated on what it was I would be doing in the job. Makes perfect sense. We do the same at Democracy Prep for all of our teachers, and we do it for our administrators as well. Our non-instructional positions all have to do a demo lesson. And it's some sort of task for me. It was you know, analyzing a, a budget versus actual report um, and, and providing comments and analysis, something I, I would be doing in my job. When we um, interview for a new student registrar who's going to do open houses, we ask them to put together a PowerPoint and then come and make a 10-minute PowerPoint presentation on democracy prep. So there's always this demo lesson, this sample task that helps us uh, sort out the, the skills, qualifications, and ability to get things done of our candidates. Yeah. It's a great tool. I mean, it's another. It's a great way to assess whether or not someone's going to be a good fit, if, and uh, and see uh, how you think they're going to work out. What's the second one? The second one is um, w w w this. This became really clear recently. We interviewed for for a new position, um, a special projects coordinator, and you know, you think that means someone who's going to take care of all kinds of things around the school, and you want someone who was a teacher, is five years teaching, and they don't want to be in the classroom anymore. And we found this one candidate who had never been a teacher but had, done, had been in lots of different places, interesting places in Ethiopia and Montana and, and, and traveled and uh, I don't know if this, is, this isn't anything revolutionary, but, but we thought that she had demonstrated an ability to get things done in all kinds of unique places and never mind that she had never been in a school before, we thought she could come in and get things done in our unique place, our, our, in Democracy Prep, and you know, three months on the, team, on the team and she is terrific, knock, knocking the cover off the ball getting things done with a professionalism that was, that was clear on her resume even though she had never been in a school before or a position that exactly matched up with what we're doing. Wow, that's fascinating. So just not, it, just, it wasn't about industry experience, it was more about ability to get things done. Right, right. Which we could tell by talking to her about her previous experiences, which were challenging and unique, and I said, well, she's going to be fine here.